Hi everyone, welcome to this CGRAPH technical paper section about computational design of high-level interlocking puzzles. My name is Ruin Chen and a PhD student from SUTD. This is a joint research work among SUTD, EPFL, ETH, and IST Austria. A geometric puzzle is a geometric problem where the task is to assemble individual puzzle pieces into a meaningful 2D or 3D shape. Interlocking puzzle is a specific kind of geometric puzzle. Once assembled, there is only one movable part we call the key, while all other parts and subassemblies are immobilized. See this example. In the left interlocking puzzle, there's only one part, green part, can be directly taken up. Here's the comparison among interlocking, non-interlocking, and deadlocking puzzles. Non-interlocking puzzles have more than one movable parts, and deadlocking puzzle has no movable parts. The advantage of interlocking puzzle is the puzzle does not fall apart easily, which means Interlocking puzzle is structurally stable. There is some existing work to design interlocking puzzles. Coffin manually designed a holy bird puzzle in 2006. Shin proposed a computational approach to design bird puzzle with smooth appearance in 2011. Song computationally designed the recursive interlocking puzzle in 2012. Wang proposed a computational framework to design general interlocking assemblies in 2018. However, in all these existing puzzles, the key piece can be directly taken up. In this project, we focus on designing a more complex puzzle, high-level interlocking puzzle. High level of difficulty, or simply high level interlocking puzzles, require multiple moves to take out the first subassembly. Here's the comparison between conventional level one interlocking puzzle and level five high level interlocking puzzle. Level of difficulty of an interlocking puzzle is assessed by the minimal number of moves required to remove the first subassembly. Here's the disassembly plan for a level five puzzle. When we count the level of difficulty, a move is counted as one irregardless of how far a piece is moved in one direction. The move to remove a piece or a subassembly is counted for one move. Moving two or more pieces in the same direction simultaneously is one move. The disassembly plan is non monotone because intermediate placement is required for taking out the green part. The disassembly plan can be linear. See the operations in blue box, where assembly operations involve the translation of single parts only. The disassembly plan can be nonlinear as well, because here we translate the purple and yellow parts to the left at the same time. So the disassembly plan of high-level interlocking puzzles is non-monotone, linear, or nonlinear. There are three existing approaches to design high-level interlocking puzzles. First, is a manual approach, which is purely based on puzzle designers' experience. Second is exhaustive search, which uses computer to exhaustively search all the possible configurations in the design space. Third is evolutionary search, which uses evolutionary algorithm to explore the design space to find a feasible solution. The existing design approaches can only design cube-shaped puzzles or holy bird puzzles and cannot handle the puzzles with more complex shapes. 
The existing approaches require a large amount of time to decide puzzles with a relatively low level of difficulty. Our goal is to propose a computational approach to design high-level interlocking puzzles, which can enable general users to design personalized puzzles with desired appearance and design an interlocking puzzle with a user-specified level of difficulty efficiently. Here's the preview of our project. A shape is given and the puzzle is generated. This is the virtual disassembly process. And we also fabricate the puzzle using 3D colored printer. Our design problem is taking a virtualized shape as an input computationally design a level L interlocking puzzle by partitioning the shape into K puzzle pieces. This is a 2D example. The left one is the input virtualized shape. Users can specify level L and piece number K. The right one is the puzzle we design, which is a K piece level L interlocking puzzle. Here, K and L equal to six. Designing a high-level interlocking puzzle is challenging. The first challenge is how to compute the level of difficulty. Computing level of difficulty requires to enumerate all the possible disassembly plans to take out the first subassembly. This example shows two disassembly plans for the same puzzle. Second, ensuring global interlocking. High-level interlocking puzzle requires the puzzle pieces to be interlocking in all the configurations before the first subassembly is taken out. The third challenge is how to extend our computational design approach to support puzzles with smooth appearance and how to ensure structural soundness of each puzzle pieces. In this example, if we do the simple intersection operation between the smooth appearance and virtualized shape, it probably leads to structurally weak parts as shown in red circle. Our approach is shown below. There are three main contributions in this project. We propose a graph-based disassembly planner to compute the level of difficulty and we propose a computational design framework to construct each puzzle piece iteratively guided by the disassembly graph. And we also propose a shape optimization algorithm for virtualization to support generating puzzles with smooth appearance and structurally sound pieces. To compute the level of difficulty, we propose a kernel disassembly graph. Node is a puzzle configuration. An edge means transfer a puzzle configuration to another puzzle configuration by one move. Here's the example of kernel disassembly graph. The root node here indicates the initial puzzle configuration. The target node is a puzzle configuration where only one subassembly is removed. The kernel disassembly plan is a pass from the root node to one target node. Level of difficulty can be computed by the following steps. First, compute a shortest path from the root to each target node. Second, choose the path with the minimal number of edges. Our computational design framework will be running like this. We construct each puzzle piece iteratively guided by the disassembly graph. We start from the input shape. We construct the first puzzle piece and make the new puzzle piece movable, but not removable. We construct each puzzle piece in C primary that is furthest away from the root. We make the new puzzle piece movable and ensure no removable subassembly. 
we keep doing this iteratively until the last puzzle piece is constructed. The puzzle is not disassemblable when constructing P1 to Pn minus one. And the puzzle becomes disassemblable after constructing Pn. The key idea in our computational design framework is to expand the graph to achieve a level of difficulty as high as possible. If we directly perform CSG intersection between each virtualized puzzle piece and the input smooth shape, there will be some structurally weak pieces. See this example. We observe that structurally weak pieces are always caused by problematic versions. Our approach is to transform and slightly deform the input shape to minimize the number of problematic versions and minimize the modification on the input shape. Here's our objective function. E versal means the number of problematic versions and E shape means the modification on the input shape. In this 2D example, after optimization, there's no structurally weak pieces. Here's our optimization result. Before optimization, the cow has 23.3% problematic versions, And after optimization, the cow has only 11.7% problematic versions. Before optimization, the cow puzzle has several structurally weak pieces. After optimization, all the pieces are structurally sound. Let's take a look at the puzzles we generated. Here's level 10 Angry Bird with smooth appearance. Here's level 27 Q, which is the puzzle with the highest level we find using our algorithm. Our computational approach can support various shape input. Here are the puzzles we fabricate using 3D colored printer. This is a three-piece level seven R. This is a four-piece level eight sofa. This is the four piece level 16 cube, which is the highest level puzzle we fabricate so far. We conduct a user study to learn how difficult for general users to play our high level interlocking puzzle. The task of each participant is to take out the first piece of each puzzle. We record the time of completing the task for each user. We recruit a participant, including four males and four females, and we prepare five puzzles to solve from level four to level 16, and one of them is with smooth appearance. Here's our timing result. We find that the solving time is not only related to the level of difficulty, but also related to the size of disassembly graph and appearance complexity. In this project, we present a computational approach to design high-level interlocking puzzles. First, we propose a graph-based disassembly planner to compute the level of difficulty. Then we propose a disassembly planner guided design approach to design high-level interlocking puzzles with user-specified level. For the input shape with smooth appearance, we propose a shape optimization algorithm to minimize the number of problematic versions and achieve structurally sound puzzle pieces. Thank you.